Hi, so let's read code coverage report. Here's a question that I received for this project. There's a snapshot of HTML code coverage report and a question. It says it's giving me 80% coverage, stating that 4 out of 5 lines are covered even though the whole JSX element in return is not covered. Can you explain? So let's look at this image in detail. So it's a code coverage report. It shows that there are import statements, destructuring statement, and then JSX element, and export default app function. On the left, you see a column, and with, next to each line number, you see the counters, how many times that line has been executed during the test. As you can see, line 4 was executed one time, line 6 and 7 was executed one time. If there is a pink color, that means that line could run, but never executed, so it stands for zero line times. And then line 30 was executed once. Notice interesting thing. The lines with import and export are not counted. Because the bundling happens before the code runs. It's not part of runtime code, the import and export statements. So that's why those lines are never counted. They're ignored, almost as if they were comments. They're still shown in the report, so you understand what's going on. But this structure counts. It's executable statement, but is executed at runtime. So in this case, it was executed once. Next, let's look at our JSX situation. What is JSX really? What is the app? It's a function that returns a JSX element. That function was executed once. That line that was that defined the function was executed once. So once we define the app, probably somewhere else during the test, we mount that app. So we call this function and now we get inside that function. So we get to line 7. Line 7 is an if-else statement. The if-else statement was executed once, that's correct. So we actually rendered the app component once. But then we get into two paths, two branches. The if and else called branches. In this case, this big I badge means that in this statement, this if else statement, we never took the if branch because it's if false, it never runs what's inside the code block. So that's why line A never executes the return, never executes returning that JSX layout. Now, we only executed the if brand if else statement once we never took the if branch so it means we actually took the else branch and that's why line 30 shows once now what about the whole thing inside why isn't any of this counted well gsx gets transpiled into a bunch of statements that will be placed on line 8 at runtime remember the code that you write in modern web application does not look like the code that the bundler sees. Everything gets transpiled, changed. Tools like NYC and Istanbul that instrument and compute code coverage do their best to translate the final code coverage numbers back to original source code. The source code for layout JSX is not runnable code. It's almost like HTML markup. You would never say, I execute HTML markup. So that's why none of these lines have any counters next to them. Only the return statement has a, a, a counter, but it's a zero, so it's pink. So now I hope you understand how to read the code coverage report a little bit better.